It looks like face masks are about to get an upgrade. This is a face mask. And this is a face mask. And this is a face mask. I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and as you may know, I've done quite a few videos on face masks this year. We've covered N95s, KN95s, surgical masks, what the differences are between all of them, and a lot of other topics. In this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the innovative new face masks out there to see if they can be used as an improvement on what we've already got. So I'm gonna be using this gauge to show how protective these masks may be in comparison to say a surgical mask or an N95. The goal being making it simpler to understand masks. Now, if you happen to be curious about the difference between an N95 and a surgical mask, make sure to check out my video on that. Just a heads up, this video is not sponsored. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first mask that we're going to be talking about today is the PhotoFast AM9500 Intelligent Air Purifier. Right out of the box, this mask is a little bit different than the others because it has a fan right on the front of it. In theory, you shouldn't have to work as hard to breathe while wearing this mask. However, I will also point out this mask is not a respirator. Respirators have to be approved by NIOSH, so this mask is sort of like a supercharged surgical mask. However, this mask does have an FDA approval, and if you've watched the previous videos, you know that an FDA approval means that the mask has been approved to be substantially resistant to blood and other bodily fluids. In the instructions, the product mentions that a charge will last three to eight hours on a three hour charge with the fan switched on. There are three speeds to this fan, so I'm guessing that if you have it on the highest speed, you're probably gonna be closer to that three hour range versus keeping it on the lowest speed will be closer to the eight hour range. This mask has been charged, so now we'll slide the filter in there and be ready to go. With this mask, it claims that the filter is the same type of material as an N95. You simply slide it into the mask fuzzy side out, and you're ready to go. How this mask is worn is it's got a cloth that goes over the face mask. This particular one comes with head loops rather than ear loops, so put it on like you would an N95. Start by flipping the top loop up over the top, hold the mask down, Put it over your head, flip up the top loop, make sure you got a good fit, and turn the fan on. One thing I wanna say with this mask is although it's not a loud fan, it does create more muffling of your voice between the materials of the fan and then also the fan itself. So you can probably see what I mean about it being a little bit more difficult to communicate through, but you do get a nice airflow, so it's a trade-off. After testing out this mask, Here's where I think it would be really useful. For anyone who has trouble breathing through masks, such as someone with asthma or other lung conditions, the fan overcomes the need to breathe through the fabric. So you don't have to spend extra energy just trying to breathe. Second, there are a lot of people out there who have anxiety around wearing anything that can obstruct breathing. I thought this mask may be ideally suited for those people, but it does feel heavy on the face. So again, there are some trade-offs. And lastly, in my own opinion, I think this mask is best suited for air travel. If you've got a long day of flying in airports ahead of you, the air gets stale, it's a really long time to wear a face mask, and it doesn't feel good by the end of the day. Personally, I think this is gonna be a game changer for long travel days while we still have our mask mandate. That's where I'd say it was the most useful. Overall, I'd say it's a nice upgrade on a traditional face mask, but some really great features. If you'd like $30 off, check out the link below. This next mask is pretty much the exact opposite. This is the Ready Mask. It's a mask for minimalists, but that doesn't mean it's light on features. For what it lacks in bells and whistles, it makes up for in simplicity and functionality. Let me show you how it works. Basically, what you've got is an adhesive strip that goes around the outside. You peel that off. Now, it's a gentle sort of silicone adhesive. I've put it on my face a couple times with and without makeup. I find it sticks really well and it also doesn't leave like weird lines in my makeup, so it's pretty great that way. How you put it on, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this top piece here as well. How you put it on is you put it around like you would a normal face mask, bend it around your face, and then you're gonna see this sort of corner piece coming out here at the end. You just stick it together. 
this is the lightest one on the face of any that we're trying out today. And you can probably tell it doesn't inhibit you hearing me hardly at all. So it's got some really great features that way. Now I'm gonna take it off so you can see the difference. It comes off really easy. There is some makeup on the inside of it, but the glue is still sticky and you can wear it again. So basically you can put it in your pocket and put it on later in the day. It's about as simple as face masks get. Also doesn't stick to hair and is non-irritating. Now you may be wondering, can something this simple actually work? And the amazing thing about this mask is it has a NIOSH approval as an N95 mask, which they have right on the front of both sizes of the packages. So you know the approval number and it's easy to look up. That means this mask actually seals well enough that it's considered an N95 respirator, although it still does require fit testing. It has a few benefits over a traditional N95. One is that you can be more assured of getting a good seal. It also takes up less storage space, which with how 2020 went, most businesses were trying to organize to find space for all the extra PPE and hand sanitizer we'd need every day. It's also very light and comfortable on the face. And as an industrial hygienist, I think there's less potential for user error with this mask because you aren't depending on stiff fabrics or headbands to make sure you get a tight seal. It's like an N95, only simplified. Next up, we have a mask that hasn't got quite as much attention as maybe it deserves, and that is the clear mask. Now, there are a lot of masks out there on the market that are clear, but this one is actually called the clear mask. Why I included this one is it's light, it's comfortable, and has added benefits that might not be clear when you first see it. No pun intended. So part of the frustrations people have with face masks is that you can't tell people's expressions. This may not be a huge problem in some workplaces, but in customer service, childcare, and hospitality, it's a big deal. Not only because of what you can see, but also because of what you can't hear. Hearing loss is prevalent throughout America. In fact, one in eight people over the age of 12 has hearing loss in both ears. And many people actually depend on lip reading, especially in noisy environments like restaurants, shops, or busy offices. Not being able to see people's expression not only inhibits auditory communication, but also inhibits visual communication as well. This mask solves those types of communication problems. It's also light, fog-free, and is fluid resistant according to ASTM standards. When you're wearing it, you don't feel like it's a lot different than a surgical mask, but the reactions that you get from others tend to be more positive. In my opinion, this mask serves best as an alternative to a surgical mask in roles where communication is key. The last mask that we're gonna talk about today is maybe not the most exciting looking, but it has some of the coolest features. This is the Respocare N95 mask. It's a NIOSH approved N95, so it blocks 95% of small particles, can be used, fit tested, and worn in all the same environments as other N95s. It looks, acts, and feels like an N95, but it's special. Although all NIOSH approved N95s have to be able to block 95% of small particulate, they don't have any other special features besides being a very finely tuned filter. That's where this one is different. Since masks act as a filter, they're always collecting whatever you can't breathe in on their surface. And when you touch your mask or set it on a surface, you're contaminating your hands, the surface, and anything else you touch, potentially spreading the virus. The RespoCare N95 is different. There's an antiviral layer that captures and inactivates 99.99% of flu viruses, meaning no infections or viruses will live on the mask's surfaces. It also helps to block a lot of other small particles and aerosols you don't want to inhale. So rather than acting like a typical N95, it's a new and improved N95. Not only does this one have NIOSH approval, it's also FDA approved. So it's good to use in medical environments as well. So out of these four masks, we've got some really good upgrades and added benefits compared to what we had back at the beginning of the pandemic. I hope this video helps you out when you're evaluating new masks for your workplace. If it showed you some that you didn't know existed before, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, I'll see you guys later.